Uh, we made quick work in Nebraska, two birds in two days. <clears throat> now we're about to head to up here in Wyoming and try to kill a bird in Wyoming and South Dakota. Hopefully we keep rolling like we are and keep up with the good luck, but uh, can't wait to get to Wyoming. It's a lot more pretty out there. We're gonna be hunting the Black Hills. It's gonna be awesome. So we'll see. It's our first morning in Wyoming in South Dakota. We're probably going to hunt South Dakota today because typically it's a little bit harder to kill the bird over there. we got a while to do it. It's not it's supposed to be a really good day. It's cloudy. It's about to rain. It's kind of cool. It's 49 degrees, which doesn't hurt these birds. But the rain does. So we're just going to ride around all day and just listen. I mean, we got thousands and thousands and thousands of acres to find a bird on. But we're going to, like I said, start in South Dakota and work our way back to Wyoming. Got my lunch stuff packed. Probably not gonna be back at the hotel till after dark. Probably try to roost one this afternoon, but put a lot of miles in today, so we'll see. Sure aren't in Mississippi anymore. It's crazy to see snow. It's May 2nd. It's pretty cold outside. It's 46 up here. It's supposed to be even colder tomorrow. It's supposed to be in the 30s, so. Pretty enjoyable. Ain't too hot. We ain't gonna be sweating too much. There's no way he didn't see me. He just was so close. He got with twice, so it's a good start to the trip. We haven't been in South Dakota for five minutes. All right, we're about to go get in the truck. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Dang, well, that fires you up, though. Good start. Dang it. So, I mean, what can you do? He's right on the road. The last time that bird gobbled, he was right. Right in there, less than 150 yards. There's no way that bird didn't see me. What am I supposed to do? I should have gone around the corner here. But it is what it is. I'm gonna mark this spot on my GPS for sure. Good start, good start. All right, we came back to the hotel. <clears throat> Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. Thanks for that. Uh, we came out to the hotel for a little while. We've been riding around. It was raining, spitting rain. Kind of shut the gobblers off. That one gobbled. <laughs> he was right on the dang road. He, he definitely saw me. He, I had nothing. I couldn't do anything. I was sitting outside the truck and blew the blew my call at him, and he gobbled at me. So uh, anyway, we're about to. It stopped raining, so we're about to <clears throat> head back to. I looked at some good spots out there. I'm gonna see if we can get one to gobble out there. Some great looking spots, but we're about to go back right around. It's 4:10 right now. We're gonna ride around till dark and see if we can't get one roosted and see how it goes. It's gotten cold. It's 37 degrees now, but we got some good news. We got some fresh. I mean, today, gobbler prints. Multiple too. There's another one there. Great sign, great sign. We will be here in the morning unless we hear something crazy or see a lot more signs somewhere else. So, awesome. Well, I just found some more gobbler tracks right there. So, there's multiple gobblers in here. 
all these prints look really fresh so it's just so i mean it's 37 the wind's blowing so fast i don't think the temperature hurts them as much as the rain and the wind i just can't i can't hear anything the rain's got them shut down for the moment but tomorrow's supposed to be good so this is definitely a I'm on the top of the list. I got my, I got it marked on my map. So we're about an hour away from the hotel though. So I'm gonna a little drive, but I'll do it for a big, nice South Dakota mountain area. But we're about to go check some more spots that I have marked on the map and look at them. And there could be more sign there. I don't know. Just give me more options. But we're about to see. Just saw my first turkey of the trip was a hen in the road up here. She went on to public land though. Where there's hens, there are gobblers. Probably not very far as a single hen though. She, she might've already been bred, but turkeys in the area so that's a good thing man the stuff they gotta climb is crazy that's insane she's going straight up pretty much be hard to chase after one up here no gobbles yet other than the ones earlier those two but uh so riding around calling and looking really this is more of a scout day than anything the tracks are what i'm more pumped up about but uh we'll see how everything goes that is awesome. Heard a cow elk. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. I've never seen that before. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. You don't see that every day. We never saw any last year. I'm, I'm glad we saw, I saw them, that's cool. It's probably what, 10 or 12 of them. Just a cow, I guess. I don't know if the bulls are even growing antlers yet. I'm sure that was just a bunch of cows. Uh, but that was awesome, wow. All right, we just pulled up to my spot. We got a little time to spare. It's 4.50, well, it's five o'clock now. And uh, it's 32 degrees. I knew it was gonna be colder the higher we got. We're probably about 6,500 feet elevation. But I'm gonna sit here for a little while in the truck. I ain't getting outside when we got 20, 30 minutes before they start gobbling. It's too cold for that. But uh, we're gonna sit here and ride this road where I saw these uh, gobbler tracks and try to make one gobble. It's supposed to be about five to six mile an hour wind, so we're gonna be able to hear a long ways. So we'll see. Wind's whipping. Wind chill down in the 20s. It definitely shouldn't be like this in May. Got a couple bull elk in front of me. You can see this one. I know this one for sure has that, some antlers coming out. I haven't looked at this one good enough. That's awesome. I'm sure they're both bulls. Anyway, I just talked to some boys. I hadn't heard anything either. <clears throat> so I've been here where I saw these tracks yesterday. It's the only thing I got. I've been riding every all over this place, listening for birds. I haven't heard anything today. But uh, I'm about to slip off in here, kind of close to where I saw these tracks, and just do a little call and see what happens. Typically, don't see knee deep snow in Mississippi. That's crazy. Love it, that. Love it. Got some elk tracks right here. Just gotta find some turkey tracks. That's what we worry about. We have seen as many turkeys, or as many, yeah, as many turkeys as we've seen elk. We'd be on the board. We don't want to run across him. That's fresh. That's cougar. There's a cougar in the area. He might be watching me right now. I don't know. But that's fresh. I wouldn't put that over two days old. It looks like a big cougar too. I don't want none of him.
home and marry him now. Out of breath like crazy. We're on them. We're on them on this trip. That's Wyoming done. Let's go get them tagged out or tagged up. What a hunt. That changed so quick. Been riding around about to fall asleep. Forgot my mouth calls in the truck. The truck is, I'm 50 yards from the truck right now. So I stopped calling right here randomly and he gobbled. And I don't know if you can see him on the camera, but they came up top right here to my right here and I couldn't see a beer. Had no idea if it was a gobbler or not. And uh, I know I saw a snood. So I, I thought I should have shot him, but couldn't tell. And luckily they came back to my right over here. You couldn't see them on this camera, but luckily my gun camera was running. And they were right there to my right at about 45 or 50. And I put it to him. That when I when he got up there, I could see his beard. But that's why I'm done. Wow. Wow. Had to use the old box call on him. Look at that fan. These Merriam sure are pretty. Oh man. Small body bird. Hey, I don't care. Got a decent beard. It's a long beard. I don't care. I came here to kill turkeys. I didn't come here to kill trophies. Normal Merriam spurs. About. That's normal though. What a hunt. So now we got South Dakota. And we got a long time to do it. I'm pumped up about that one. Let me show y'all where my truck is. This is hilarious. So my truck is literally right there. So I pulled up down here and heard him gobble. Made him gobble. He gobbled up here. And uh, so I backed my truck down to where it is now, right here, bailed out, got all my stuff up, I got all my stuff ready, forgot my mouth calls, had to use my box call there, but it worked just fine. Anyway, another truck comes riding down the road. And they were looking at me, but they had the windows up and he gobbled to the truck, out right about here. And then I gave him the old box call, I knew they were about 100 yards right over this hill. And uh, he gobbled one time and they worked their way right up here. And I don't, I move my camera on them. I don't know if you can see them or not. I could see them, but the camera was a little lower than me. But then they, I saw his snood and I saw a red head, but he wasn't strutting. So I didn't know if he was a long beard or not. I couldn't see a beard. But anyway, they worked down, worked down, worked down. And they got right there. Pat on that, just right there by that tree right there. And then when he was, he was walking the other way and I saw a beard that time. And I put it on him. And there he lays. What a beautiful, beautiful Wyoming mountain gobbler. My first good day of hunting. Didn't really hunt much yesterday because it was raining, just a terrible day. Uh, I found some sign. I'm nowhere close to that sign though. I'm way off. I was headed back to the cabin, or back to the hotel to chill and get a bite to eat. Hadn't eaten breakfast all morning. Haven't been out here since 4 a.m. It's uh. 10 25 i shot him about 10 15 10 10 somewhere in there but i've been riding around listening all day and the sun just came out beautiful now blue skies it was kind of sprinkling and snowing this morning 30 degrees but now it's blue skies and beautiful and he hammered so like i said i came up backed up my truck ran up this hill and sat right down right here and they, like I said, they came up to the top, top of that ridge and walked down some hens and this gobbler and got right there and gave me a shot because I could see that beard then. So I let it have, let him have it. But uh, oh, let's uh, let's get him legal. That's number one priority. We're legal enough. We'll sign it when we get to my truck. I ain't got a pin on me. Man. Wyoming Mountain Merriam. What a hunt. <sighs> Great way to start Wyoming off. I was gonna hunt South Dakota and try to kill my bird there first, but the weather was so bad. Like I said, man, I was headed to camp. Headed back to the hotel to rest, eat some food. That's how fast this stuff can change, man. Just instantly, instantly. 
I mean, I heard him gobbling within 10 minutes. He's dead. That's awesome. Absolutely, absolutely love it, man. This is why I drove 21 hours, 1,200 miles to get up here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I've been videoing the entire time I've been walking back to the truck, and I'm already here. That's how close I was to the truck. <laughs> There's the truck.